I don't think you guys are ready for this. <laughs> for what, Val? For what are we not ready? Well, the elephant in the room that I would have had to address if I was just making a video. Okay, let's let's make it quick and painless, all right? Quick and painless. There. <laughs> This is it, this is what I look like now. Live with it. <laughs> so, this is a new series that I'm going to be starting about the filming news where I put season 7 together based on the leaked pictures and leaked videos that we've been getting. I'm not going to be talking about the leaked plot, I haven't read that and I'm not going to read it because that would be kind of like cheating. We don't know if it's true yet or not, so I can't, I can't risk it, right? So of course this video is going to be very spoilery. If you don't want to know anything about season 7 then click away but if you want to hear all of my speculations and make your own speculations on my speculations, um, yeah, go ahead and watch this, because it's going to be a fun ride. Yeah. So I'm not going to be doing some simple news reporting videos. From now on, I'm going to take everything that we've been getting and do something a bit more fun with it. Let's put all of Season 7 together, Sherlock style. Yeah, I dressed up for this. I went all out, man. I went all out. Oh, another thing that I wanted to say is that if you have read the leaked plot and you really, really want to talk about it in the comments, then please just use the proper leaked plot spoiler tags. I will be showing you and talking about information that I have gathered after going through 80 or so articles, both in English and Spanish, just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. And I think now I have enough to start making my case. The best place to start putting Season 7 together is probably the Season 7 directors. I had my own speculations on which director would be directing which episode, and I've gotta say, I got pretty damn close. This was my speculation for the lineup, and this is the actual lineup. As you can see, I was sure they would start the season off with Jeremy Podeswa, since that's what they did in Season 6 and it worked out well. Then I knew Mark Milot would follow because he's typically given mid-season episodes. Matt Shackman is a new guy who has never directed for Game of Thrones before, so I didn't think he'd be given any important episodes. And that's what made me put him on 5 alone. Then of course Alan Taylor has been one of the best Game of Thrones directors who had to skip some seasons because he ended up directing some other movies that gave him no time for Game of Thrones. But I knew that if they were bringing him back and there was no Miguel Sapochnik this time around, then the most important episodes would definitely be given to Alan, and I thought those would be 6 and 7. But turns out Alan will only be doing 6, which should be the equivalent of episode 9 in a normal season. You know, episode 9 is always the epic one. So hey, even though I didn't get it exactly right, I was happy to see that at least my logic was on point. After this, all we need to do is learn what these directors look like, find them in the leaked pictures, and branch out from there. We've seen Jeremy Podeswa, Mark Milot, and Matt Shackman. There haven't been any pictures of Alan Taylor yet, at least not that I know of, but that's also a hint to something. What is that? Well, isn't it obvious? He's filming one of the last episodes, and the last episodes aren't just the last ones they film, but by the end of season 7, winter will have definitely arrived. So they're waiting for real colder weather and real snow before they film this. Actually, it's not that obvious, they can use fake snow just fine. But the producers have gone on record saying, we're starting a bit later because at the end of this season, winter is here, and that means that sunny weather doesn't really serve our purposes anymore. So we kind of pushed everything down the line so we could get some grim grey weather even in the sunnier places that we shoot. So there you have it. Let me start by telling you everything that we know so far. Then we'll break it all down into events that we can start organizing into a timeline. This is what we know. Other than the list of directors, we know a lot of casting calls and the dates those people will be filming. We know some of the new actors that have been cast. We know a lot of the dates that the Game of Thrones crew will be filming and in which locations. We also know what a lot of these locations will be in Westeros. We know the location of a lot of actors across these past few months. And last but not least, we know a lot of the events that are being filmed, be it through leaked pictures or leaked videos or confirmation from reliable sources. Of course, we shouldn't believe everything. We've made that mistake before. But I would say that at least 80 to 90% of this information is legitimate, just like last year. Among some of these events, we have Prepare for spoiler overload. Yara and Theon engaging in a sea battle. Euron will capture one of the Greyjoy siblings. Euron and Cersei will team up in Season 7. Euron takes out at least one Sand Snake. And just remember, these are not in chronological order just yet. 
Thoros of Mir will be back and we will see a lot more of him this season. We will get more Gutswood scenes. There will be a huge battle scene which was later on confirmed to be an ambush scene. In this ambush scene there will be Lannister soldiers, one of the Lannister twins which is pretty much confirmed now to be Jaime, and they will be bringing supplies back home from another castle when all of a sudden Danny and her army of the Thraki attacks them. There will be at least one dragon in this scene and Tyrion will be there as well. But that's not it, we have recently gotten confirmation that Bronn will also be there and Randall Tarly and Deacon Tarly. We know that Danny filmed scenes in the same area that they've used to depict the Stormlands before, where Stannis and Renly met. There will be that new redhead northern girl and that new northern boy being part of a high stakes scene with leading cast members that we last saw in Winterfell. Maester Walken will be back in season 7. We will see Arya around the north as well. Mira was seen around the Winterfell set. We will see this part of the King's Road again. Edmure Tully will be back in season 7. There's a scene where Tyrion and Davos escape with Gendry on a boat from what seems to be King's Landing because there's gold cloaks involved. There's a scene where Jon and Davos arrive in Dragonstone and are greeted by Tyrion, Missandei and some Dothraki. Also, a scene where Theon and some Ironborn arrive in Dragonstone as well. And then Theon has a very rough moment with Jon. There's a scene where Theon gets punched by the Ironborn. We will see Jon and Davos going up the stairs to the Dragonstone castle, and this will be the first time that they see a real dragon. Jon and Danny meet each other, of course, and I believe this will happen inside of the Dragonstone castle. We also have a Jon and Danny scene where they seem to bond a little bit. Jorah will actually come to Dragonstone, and him, joined by Jon, Davos, and Gendry, will say bye to Danny and Tyrion and leave Dragonstone together. Danny will visit a cave in Dragonstone. It seems like Danny will introduce Jon to the dragons on the beach of Dragonstone. There's a group of people on horses riding by or stopping by an inn that is clearly in the north because there's a lot of fake snow around. Archmaester Ebros has been confirmed to be a character in season 7. Is that how you pronounce that? Ebros? 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 One of the most random events that we've heard of is Tycho Nestoris coming back to King's Landing to ask Cersei to pay the crown's debt. Another major scene is an action sequence at the Dragon Pit of King's Landing. There's a few events that according to sources will be related to this scene and that is Danny talking to Davos and Brienne, Brienne and Jaime having at least one scene together, and Cersei and Kyburn also having a scene together. There will be Lannister guards at the Dragon Pit, and the confirmed characters to have been part of what was filmed on that set are Cersei, Kyburn, The Mountain, Tyrion, Danny, Jon, Jorah, Varys, Missandei, and the Hound. Although there's no click game ball confirmed. It's also very possible that Euron will be there as well. The actor was seen with the actors that play all the other characters that I just mentioned. But what are they doing there? Well, that is the biggest spoiler we have heard so far. Apparently, it has been confirmed that Danny's team, which now includes Jon, will capture a white and bring it into the dragon pit to show Cersei that the threat is real. How are they gonna do that? I have no idea. And I've heard that this spoiler was actually part of the leaked plot, so if you have been hesitating on reading it or not because you don't know if it's true, I would say to stay away from it. And the last huge spoilers that we know about are that High Garden will get attacked by the Lannister army, and it looks like they will take the castle too. Also, Danny will send Grey Worm and Heron Sullied to take Casterly Rock. Phew, that's a lot. That's a lot of spoilers. If you guys have heard of a scene where a character falls from the sky into the water, that was later confirmed to be something for a completely different show that was being filmed there. Not Game of Thrones. So, how do we connect all of this together? Well, let's get back to our directors, shall we? I think the easiest way to go about this is to pick one of these events, figure out based on the director in which episode that event may be happening, and then figure out the events that happened before and after this event. Still with me? Okay. I'm going to pick John arriving in Dragonstone. We have good reason to believe that this picture is showing us just that. And yes, we know that this is Dragonstone because we also know that on the date the picture was taken, the crew was filming on Itzerun Beach. And we've gotten a lot of pictures of this place before during the prep weeks. And well, it looks like a very rocky island. Plus, there's these. 
and these, so it's safe to say that this is Dragonstone. I mean, come on, it makes perfect sense for Danny to be using this as a base, just like Aegon did before he himself decided to conquer Westeros. So let's get back on track. I have organized these images in the order that I think they will happen. Here we see Jon in a boat, then getting off the boat, then shaking Tyrion's hand, who's in company of Missandei and Kono. They talk a bit more, and then the Dothraki carry the boat away from the water as Jon, Davos, Tyrion and the rest head up to the castle. I'd say it's safe to assume that Kono is the new commander of the Dothraki. A handshake after Jon gets off the boat definitely looks like a first meeting to me, and it makes you wonder how much Jon and Tyrion need to catch up on. Like, holy crap, look at where they were before and where they are now. Thankfully they were cool with each other the last time they talked. Take care, Snow. Farewell, my lord. I just hope they don't make Jon say a dwarf pun, like something about Tyrion rising high, you know? But both of them have, very much so. And it's really cool to see. There's one thing I find a bit out of place here though, and that is Davos' positioning. We don't see him on the boat, but standing next to it in the sand, waiting for Jon. Was he not on the boat with Jon? Did he get off early? We also don't see him shaking Tyrion's hand, as if he's already greeted him before. As if Davos had been on Dragonstone for a while before Jon got there. Although, maybe he did shake his hand and there was no picture of it. Or maybe it just wasn't appropriate for Davos to shake hands with Tyrion. It is a king and a hand of the queen here talking, so it is a possibility. Also, on that note, this picture here, just from the way they're standing, it looks as if Davos is announcing the introduction of Jon as the king in the north. You might be thinking, where's the director? There were a few pictures that same day that showed the director that was on set, and it was Mark Mylid. Yep, that's definitely him right there, and this is him too. The shading on the back of his pants looks the same. So, now we know that Jon arrives in Dragonstone in episodes 2 or 3. So he will meet Danny very, very early in the season. Logically, I would place this series of pictures right after. Here we can see that for some reason, as they're going up the stairs, they're the only ones to fall down or duck from something. And then Tyrion helps them up. Apparently Tyrion was also looking up at the sky. So yes, this is the scene where it's been basically confirmed that Jon and Davos see a dragon for the first time, flying above. And I think it's safe to say that we will see this in the same episode. This also could be proof that Davos hasn't been to the island yet, and I'm just overthinking things, but yeah. Since they're going up the stairs, this is why I believe that Jon will meet Danny for the first time inside of the castle, and she will probably be seated on this. A software developer who visited the Belfast set of Game of Thrones snapped this picture of what we can clearly tell thanks to the rock shapes around it, that this will most likely be Daenerys' quote-unquote throne inside of the castle. Now you may have seen the leaked video of Jon and Danny's meeting on the stairs of Dragonstone. This is definitely a second meeting between them, since Jon is walking down the stairs instead of up. And as you can see, Jon is wearing his big northern coat. I actually don't know where he got it. It didn't seem like he brought anything with him on that boat. Either way, it's a hint to me that this might end up being a cold nighttime scene. It's also curious how little Daenerys is wearing. The contrast between their outfits is very noticeable. It gives me the feeling that they will say something about that in their conversation. Similar to when Jon asked Mel if she wasn't cold at the wall. Maybe Danny has a similar situation, where simply being a Targaryen gives her body a higher than normal temperature. Danny also looks concerned in this video, glancing out into the distance, probably looking towards King's Landing. This gives me the feeling that they may also talk about something that is worrying her. And I have an idea of what that might be, but I'll tell you when we get there. Jon could maybe be saying some words here to make her feel better about it. It could definitely be a bonding scene between them. Also, I don't know about you, but I can't get out of my head that this guy looks like Mark Milet too. I don't know man, those pants, you know. I've been looking out for those pants. Also, the long torso and the dark short hair, and the fact that he's talking to the actors as if giving them instructions. It's really hard to tell for sure though, so I won't be using this as evidence, but just remember if this scene happens in episodes 2 or 3, then it could have definitely been him there. Let me tell you something else that we need to pay attention to. The Daenerys' outfits. She's been photographed wearing a few different dresses, and that's been helping me put together a timeline for her as well. It looks like she's wearing a dark dress here. 
And I'll tell you where else I saw her wearing a dark dress, but first, I want to talk about her brown dress. I think her brown dress will be the first one we see her wearing at Dragonstone. Because we have these pictures right here. Even though in some pictures it looks darker, in some others it looks lighter, in some pictures it looks like it has a lot of decorations, and in some others it just looks plain, I think it all comes down to how far away the photographers were, and how much detail the camera was able to capture or not capture, and it is in fact the same dress. The reason why I think this is because of Tyrion. We can see that Tyrion is another character who's been given different outfits. In the pictures where he meets Jon, his vest clearly has a pattern of diagonal lines on it, and that pattern is not on his sleeves. But in this picture, we see that his outfit is reversed, with the diagonal lines on his sleeves and a dark solid colored vest. He's wearing this same outfit when he's standing next to Danny here, here, and here. So I would say that this is all from the same episode, and that is the same brown dress. Now, one of the reasons why I think this will be the first outfit that we see her wearing on Dragonstone before Jon gets there is not only because Tyrion is wearing something different, but also because, as you may remember, I mentioned that it had been confirmed that Danny would send Grey Worm to take Casterly Rock with his Unsullied. In these pictures, she's still with him, so this has got to be an earlier episode in the season. Of course, he could have come back to her later, but there's yet another reason why I think this will happen early. These pictures were taken on the same day as these pictures. And what is Danny doing here? With Grey Worm, Missandei, Tyrion and Varys. She's on her way to visit this cave that the crew had been preparing earlier. The two things that she could be going to this cave for are either because she's keeping her dragons there or because she's checking for dragon glass. Now I'm going to go with dragons here because I don't think she knows of the importance of dragon glass at this point. Yeah, she could find that on her own, but it would make more sense in the story for her to go looking for it after John and Davos arrive on the island, because they're the ones who know of the importance of Dragonglass. It's also been stated that this cave in real life isn't very deep at all, and so it's believed that they will only use it to film scenes of just the entrance of the cave, and then use the set in Belfast for the inside shots of the cave. So yes, I think this might actually be just her visiting her dragons, but it will also be a setup scene for Dragonglass, to be brought up again later when John and Davos arrive. Or so I hope. This part is just all me speculating. I think when John and Davos arrive, we could get a scene sorta like this. The dead are coming and we have to defeat them. Okay, how do we defeat them? Well, we know Valyrian steel and dragonglass work. What does dragonglass look like? Black and shiny. There's supposed to be lots of it here. Oh my god, yes, we have a cave full of those here. There's actually a crazy set of pictures that I think could support this speculation, and that is where we see John and Danny holding dragon heads. After Danny says, Oh my god, yes, we have a cave full of those here. It only makes sense for them to go and check it out. And well, if Danny is keeping her dragons in the same cave that has the dragon glass, and she's bringing John and Davos to go check it out, it makes sense for them to have a close encounter with the dragons. It's entirely possible that that is what is being filmed right here. A lot of people have been skeptical about these leaked pictures, thinking that the crew might have brought some dragon props on set just to make us think that there will be dragons in that scene. But I don't see a reason why Jon wouldn't have some sort of close encounter with the dragons at some point, if he's going to be teaming up with Danny. So either way, it's gotta happen. There's even this picture of Danny looking up at the sky. It's very suspicious. And there's also a mirror ball on set, also called a light probe. And quoting James Gurney, this ball is used to record sources and distribution of lighting in the scene so that later on, the visual effects team can match the virtual lighting of the CGI elements that will be added to the shot. You cut that, right? <laughs> there will be CGI elements very close to these actors in this scene, so that could strengthen the legitimacy of these dragon heads. This small head right here is also used as a reference for lighting distribution on specifically a green dragon. So John could be meeting Rhaegal for all we know. That would be awesome. According to Watchers on the Wall, the grey dragon head is used for contact scenes. So the actors are touching something that resembles a dragon more than a tennis ball or just touching the air. This means that they're going to get really close. Like, petting distance close. This better not be a trick, I am really excited to see this happen. There's more to say about these pictures still. We can actually see the director who was working on this, and that is Matt Shackman. 
which means John and Davos will meet the dragons, or a dragon, in either episodes 4 or 5, and I'm leaning towards 4. I have many reasons to believe that this is Matt Shackman. Let me show you this video right here. As you can see, they're filming something. Then when the scene is done, you can see this man hurriedly walking towards the filming area and towards the actors to talk to them. And who else would do this but the director, right? He starts talking to Varys and Missandei. And then you can see him pointing towards the sky, and then they look at the sky too. That's another dragon's hint to me. Anyway, his body shape and facial hair matches only Matt Shackman. His hat also matches a hat that we've seen him wear in this other picture. It's dark blue or black with white and red letters on it. Same as this. Also, he's standing next to Amelia wearing her black and silver outfit, which she's also wearing in this shot. I actually think it's the same outfit that she's wearing in this picture too. So this meeting could be happening at night after they go meet the dragons. We also got some pictures of Davos talking to Jon at the top of the stairs and then walking down the stairs. And I've gotta admit, I had looked at these pictures a lot and it wasn't until much later that I noticed Missandei had been there the whole time. Sneaky Missandei. I'm not too sure where to place this event on the timeline. They seem to be leaving Dragonstone here, but we don't know which director was involved. Alright, so, so far we have this timeline speculation. Danny visiting the cave. John and Davos arriving in Dragonstone. John and Davos seeing a dragon for the first time going up the stairs to meet Danny. Meeting Danny inside of the Dragonstone castle. Danny showing the dragons and the cave possibly to John and Davos. And then John and Danny meeting alone and probably bonding. These are the episodes in which we know for sure that these events will happen. What else can we add to this? A heck of a lot. But this video is getting very long so I'm going to have to cut it here and tell you the rest in part 2. There's plenty more characters coming to Dragonstone, it's gonna get really busy there. And as you know, there's some crazy battles being filmed as well. So if that interests you, then make sure to come back for part 2. Subscribe to get notified if you're not subscribed yet. And I promise you, it won't take me another whole month to do it. Remember to please use spoiler tags in the comments if you're going to talk about the leaked plot. And leave a like if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you... In the next one! Speaking of dragons, are you into little dragon statues? Well, you can get this one on Etsy from Mira Arts or Myra Arts. And you can get a $20 discount using the coupon code BECAUSEVAL, which is pretty sweet of them. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, this is not complete. I'm in the middle of attaching all of these parts to it. It looks pretty badass with these on. The dragons also look awesome after a nice paint job. And you can actually check out some of those on their Instagram page. And just one more thing though, these are super delicate, so make sure you glue it together before you drop it and break some of the spikes like I did. I broke it off here, and I broke it here. Yeah. Still looks great though. It's pretty sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. I had actually already recorded this with my old hairstyle, but I didn't want the video to be like a shock in between. Like, the first bit is just long, dark, dark hair, and the second is, you know... I'm on fire. My ear is like blocked, so like when I speak, I hear myself and it's really difficult to... Yes, I know I look like an anime character. Check it! Oh! The hat ruined my hair! I thought I was sick this morning. My voice was very rough. <clears throat> then it got a bit better, but now... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat>